we think of Kentucky wines, we think of Norton, Cynthiana, and Vidal Blanc. Few of our vineyards grow European grapes because they're not well suited to our area. The primary cause of these plant losses in Kentucky vineyards is due to a disease called crown gall. European grapes like Chardonnay and Pinot Noir are especially susceptible to the disease, while American grape varieties and hybrids are typically more tolerant. Crown gall is caused by a bacterial pathogen that produces gall tissue, or tumors, around lower canes or graft unions. Eventually, plants die. The earliest disease symptoms occur in summer or fall as small fleshy growths. By spring, galls become larger and darker, protruding from bark. As these growths enlarge, they girdle canes, disrupting the flow of water and nutrients to upper plant parts. The crown gall pathogen is soil-borne, but it enters plant tissue through wounds such as mechanical damage and freeze damage. But once inside plants, the bacterium becomes systemic, meaning that it is distributed throughout the plant's vascular system. Young plants can die within one year of infection, while older plants may survive for several years before they become weakened or killed by cold or drought. Even after infected plants are removed, the bacterium survives in soil around remaining roots and in root fragments. There is no cure for crown gall, so the only way to control the disease is through prevention. Selection of tolerant cultivars will reduce the likelihood of infection, but the bacterium can still enter canes if they are wounded. The most important way to prevent crown gall is to prevent mechanical injury to the vines, whether that's mowing equipment or grape poles or any piece of equipment like that. Grape growers in Kentucky should always begin with disease-free plants and follow good cultural practices to ensure a healthy vineyard. The University of Kentucky, College of Agriculture, and Department of Plant Pathology have a wide range of disease management publications. So contact your local county agent for more information.